Welcome to Cybersyn. I'm here to give a basic tutorial on how to use it. So starting off, we have a couple options. We have Station, Depot, Refueler, Station Control, Wagon Control. We're going to ignore the bottom two. I'm just focused on, uh, focus on Station, Depot, and Refueler. So to start, we have Depot. Depot is basically where your trains go to wait for the network for something to be requested. So you see we have two options. We have Require Same Depot, which basically, if you have multiple depots, it makes sure it only goes always goes back to the one it was originally at. We have Depot Bypass, which I don't think is an important one you really have to worry about. So basically, we want to get from point A to B with the iron, right? So to start off, we're going to want to place a Cybersyn Combinator here. Now, this is where we're going to set it to Station. Now, there is a Provider Request Only. Now, you could technically have it do both, but I prefer just picking one. So this is going to be a Provide Station. It's going to be providing us with iron plates for the other station. So yeah, basically there is three other options here, uh, but you could select on Mac allow list, wouldn't worry about it. Inactivity condition, wouldn't worry about it. Stack thresholds is important, but only for request stations, so we'll come back to that after. So basically what we're going to want to do for this provider station is you want, you see the input. We want to go hook up all the chests to the red wire, or it could be the green wire if you really want, and hook it up to the input of the combinator. Basically all it's going to do is tell it, hey, we have 24k iron plates. So basically this lets the network know how much iron plates you have here that can uh, be distributed to whatever is requesting it. So now coming over to the requester station, we basically want to do a similar thing. So we're going to set up the CyberSend combinator. Right, we're gonna connect it with some power, and we're gonna hook it up, and then we're gonna change it to request only. So basically, we're gonna hook up, do a similar thing. We're gonna hook up the input to of the combinator to all the different chests, so it knows how much we have stored. So that's basically how it determines if it needs more stock or not. So basically, coming in here now, we're gonna place a combinator. And there's, uh, this is where you basically request things. So for whatever resource you want, you basically put, click on the item and then type negative and then whatever amount you want. So I'm putting negative 8,000 plates. So that means if those chests have less than 8,000 iron plates, it will request a train for it. Then you basically just hook that up to the power pole. But first, before we do that, we have to talk about the request threshold. So remember that one option I said not to worry about till now? Well, now we have to worry about it. So basically what that does is tells us how much our trains can hold of a material. Now, I would recommend unchecking that or checking the one option because you can basically make it where it only does stacks so we know pretty easily it's a train or a cargo wagon holds four by ten so that's 40 stacks of items right we have two of these so that means we need 80 much easier than calculating individual items right so usually all we're going to do is once we check that option we're going to type 80 right and that should set it up properly so now all we have to do to activate this simply connect the red wire to the network and boom now we're requesting plates. So basically, as you see, the train already got dispatched. So now it's picking up from the station. And as you can see, we set the 80 stacks and it's filling to the proper amount for the train, which is the 8K iron plates we wanted. Right. And basically it's going to load it up. And then it's going to take off and then transport it to the requester station here, which is great. So basically we're done with that part. So now we're going to talk about the refueler. It's very simple. Basically, all this does is when a train runs low on fuel, it will refuel it. So first, we're going to place two chests here, hook them up with inserters for the, you know, both heads to be refueled. And we're basically hook it up like that, right? So you see, we have this train here. It has a low amount of fuel. I purposely did this. So first, it's going to hit its iron stop, then deposit the iron. But right after, it's going to now go to the refueler, as you'll see here. So since it detected it had low fuel, it goes to the refueler, which is really nice since you could just have one centralized location for any trains that need to be refueled. So it just puts it in and it won't leave until it has enough fuel. So basically after it's done with the refueler, it simply just goes back to a depot and awaits your next command. So very useful, makes it so much easier to just keep trains fueled. You don't need to use requester chests everywhere. So yeah, very nice. So for a practical application, this is my Crastorio 2 world when I beat the game for that. Um, so you see I have a depot stacker here. This is generally what I'd recommend, just a bunch of trains, just so it could dispatch whatever. I have another one up here. And basically it's fairly simple, you see? So just make a station, you could just plop down a blueprint, and all you gotta really do is just change that constant combinator for what resource you want to request. So I have iron there, copper ore, making steel there I believe. Or no, that's gears, my bad. So yeah, they just request it. Super simple. Oh, you need multiple materials? Simple. Just put them in the combinator. See, I'm requesting three different materials, and by using uh, filters on the loaders, be able to get all the materials I want. Boom. Circuit's easy. 
Same for sciences. I got stuff for sciences over here, which, yeah, that one's a mess. I forgot what science that is, honestly. But yeah, basically, me just simply set and forget. And it's really nice since you only have to change a little bit to make it work. It also works with fluids. So over here I have um, sul sulfuric acid being made. So I got iron on one, and then I have a another station just for petroleum, and it just requests the fluid. That one you don't can't do stack, so I you just have to quickly calculate how much the train could hold. So that one was negative seventy five k since I had three fluid stations. But yeah, see, I got like this giant setup over here. It's super easy, and it's just nice because it's very easy to set up, and you don't have to worry about it. So yeah, you know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I only know the basics, but hopefully I can help. And uh, yeah, hopefully have a good day and stuff. Bye!